No yeah, way, is Castle playing Lee Sin Castle top, right? I think that's Castle on the Lee Sin top. Okay. Wait, Lee Sin it is? top. I mean, you have plenty of tools to be able to close the distance on insane. the Gnar when he's in mini form. You can safeguard I'll, forward, I'm slow him down with the Tempest Ripple, or if you can manage so to leave those Sonic Blades in between from the minions, you can seriously do some damage and to this guy I while really he's in that more vulnerable form. Nine. It's a very so interesting game. how this goes. Yeah, and I think the... the that's why I brought up the Gore Drinker thing, because I'm like, Gore Drinker was one of those items that was so good, it made stuff that's bad not bad anymore. So I want to see what is the secret tech then to make this Lee Sin top pick once again more viable. Because I'm with you, Azale. I don't actually remember the last time that I saw someone play this Even in recent times. Like, I don't see it at all. So it's it's going to be it's going to be really interesting um, to, to see how it actually works out. You know, I, I think you could just go like full lethality. That's definitely an option. Uh, you could go for like a ravenous hydro rush or something along those Senna's lines. Up. I feel like it's probably uh, going to be one of the two. Swap, it's either going to be you know like a clip or like or something like that. Um, built for lane swaps at all. But I'm I'm really curious, and I and I feel like Stuck in when you're looking at Immortals comp, yes, sir. it could kind of fall flat. You know, oh, wait, there's, that's there's a lot of you know high potential for big plays with the Bard as well as the Lee Sin top, but. <laughs> It's like they're both champions where if it doesn't go well, you don't really do much. <laughs> yeah. All well, right. I mean, you let the enemy team win pretty fast. If it doesn't go well, I mean, it's not exactly going to be one of those slow bleed outs, at least. I wonder if it's going to be something like. Oh, actually, I'll be really excited to see how Yone does. Into this is Corky. it just going to be like for disengage kicks on JoJo and just trying to make JoJo's life a, a bit of a nightmare? Really you know, the the last, in, he gets really strong the last. All of last week, actually, kicked away. Or kicking away Blabber, even. But Yone. I mean, Yone kind of struggles early, but really scales out well. But I honestly just think we're going to have to kind of find out as the game goes on. Yeah. I think uh, the big thing for me is, like, obviously Ooh. you look at the rest of this comp and it's like, oh, okay, they should look be able to rotate this mass. digs around. They have really good seeds. Also, great they trades really top lane, I don't lie. For that it's a lot more even than I thought it would be. And Corky with the Maokai. Um, so you can see where the rest of the comp works. And then the Lee Sin is the spice that I'm yeah. not sure. If I'm like, okay. This Having is some interesting. Nice sushi and then you yeah. got some, like, some five spice on there. Uh, yeah. like, Wait, is that gonna... <laughs> Clear on Karthus. And then by contrast, insane. I love seeing Blabber on something like the Karthus, right? Where it is a wow, farming the AP from jungler. We've talked about how mask is wrong insane. those jungle picks are right now. I think Blabber. Wait, is Castle, Castle is Bed? Is this a solo bolo? This is a lot of it damage was on close. Castle. My goodness, I'm man. actually really surprised that Thanatos didn't play a little bit more aggressively there. Level three first, forcing the Lee Sin back. Castle down to 100 HP. Now just gonna have to try to farm up underneath this turret, considering lane priority is completely lost. Ooh. Yeah, and Thanatos didn't want to risk it. You know, he potentially would have enough damage if he flashed in, but I'm not sure. You know, if the W was available for Lee Sin, he could actually you know, safeguard it to, to survive to that last because he had two stacks of that hyper. As uh, JoJo going, Mask is gonna do anything. Here, but I thought JoJo was gonna enemy, have still like a Q3 or available. something. Uh, and he's playing fleet, so obviously a lot of sustain uh, yeah. still there for him. Let's and yeah, see. Blabber, Blabber, you know, it's not even just about this being a really strong type of champion. I feel like nice. that farm heavy champions is his style, right? Mm -hmm. Like when oh, he's at absolutely. his best, you know, I still think his most iconic Let's champion is Let's see what Vulcan and Blabber is here. Me, it's like all, all right, everyone's here. Making efficient Trying to help JoJo. Let's see what's going to be able to him forcing him to stick around a little bit too long. The and it the goes to the Karthus. Blood over the blabber. And you know what else is signature is Vulcan on against support. Uh, I know we've heard yeah, this home so many really times. Well People are like, oh my gosh, we're sick of hearing about this, but. Oh, we have they, supports, they were able to punish him a little bit. Bot side. Damage, bot um, you have such early roam timers, and Vulcan is so good at recognizing that. Now Vulcan's bringing Blabber down here from another party. Wait, this time let's it's see Vulcan. Lane, flashing forward to try to lock Ooh. up Tactical, but Tactical oh. gets himself back away. Oleg gets rooted up, but he's underneath the turret. So no real threat that was, on his life. That was a fight. Three four summoner spells from the bottom lane of IMT. Yeah, that is really nicely done. Oleg oh, really got to the, you know, the bare minimum there. He has no mana left, very low on health. Almost super spicy from castle, castle but trading i think he's regretting it yeah I'm not entirely convinced about the viability of this lee sin pick right now based on how no things kidding. are going up here in the top lane why play so jojo talking a little bit of trash more, at the bro. same time as tactical once again has to i'm loving all chat guys i really why yeah. say why play so aggressive were okay <laughs> that's, that's how <laughs> you know that they are yeah you're typing so fast talk, is they're, yeah. just, they're getting it out there they do not care about spelling none of that matters <laughs> readability is okay not the point. to be fair castle's ability yeah, to uh, farm with this Q, like 
obviously, JoJo calling him out for pushing up so far the in that lane and Vulcan him recognizing him. that well camera, like we said. But even though I they think, had uh, push and miss, the C9's pressure gonna from C9 side lane, Vulcan was actually able side. to get up in the enemy bot side we'll jungle see, though, maybe some down so they track has our Mayo, a lot more viability uh, on the backside of that as well. Um, so really, really strong early map pressure from C9. And obviously there's some more minions to grab here for Tactical, but even with that Tactical roam trying from to set Vulcan, he's going to be up farm, right? Like, you know, th there's not enough minions for Tactical to fully catch up. Uh, this wave is going to slow stack eventually and push out. Vulcan going to TP back down towards bot side. They do have that triple TP It's funny on that the Vulcan's side. winning farm-wise and, and also ganked really mid. really farming fast. It feels so bad uh, you know? when a Karthus gets ahead of the pace of the game because it's almost impossible as the enemy jungler to keep up with how fast this guy can make stuff happen on the map. Oh, yeah. got double scuttle, first blood, after a Nice Valkyrie for the like dodge. Really going to accelerate his game. You can see the Tate's Ashes, obviously, were already completed. He's up 500 gold. And generally, when Karthus is ahead, Karthus just keeps getting more and more ahead. He's so suffocating as yeah. a jungle presence, right? I think they but know that Blabber's on it and they just can't winning. do anything so about it. So if you're it. not slowing him down, that's just going to be the state of the game. And right now, nobody's slowing him down at all. Grubs, first two already secured for the side of Cloud9. Blabber's got help to try to guarantee that there's not going to be any real yeah, challenge here for the third really one. C9 feeling great about the first six and a half minutes of the game. Yeah, it's going really well for them. Berserker even gets the four souls mm -hmm. off the back of that, which is always really nice to get that extra that's little injection. So Mask is up Castle at, at least nine is staying yeah. relatively even in It's actually not bad. Jojo's doing really good keeping up. Thanatos, uh, and he did have the pressure. Actually, that almost lane. like that. He's even. the one that's actually chunking him out. But yeah. uh, I want to see where Castle does go with this. Yeah. Right? Because yeah. he obviously you know, has this prepared. Um, he is one of the guys that I know you know, does like some of these creative picks. He was cooking a lot with, you know, Tom Zack early on and things yep. like that last split. So um, going to be curious to see what he can get done. I mean, it was also the last pick of the draft, mm -hmm. right? One of the things that I feel like we've criticized of North American teams for years at this point is what value are you deriving Look at that. from Thanatos this pick is red side? Yeah. This is what they were cooking. It's spicy like you're talking about, but I have to see if it's edible. Spice does not Edible. always equal flavor, so let's see oh, how so good clever. this is really going to end up being. Because right now, again, I'm just not that impressed with how the lane is going, but I really am interested in what you were talking about earlier, Isaac. Is it all about Mask kicking Karthus out of the team fight? Is it Yone. all about knocking Yone away so the Yone's dive doesn't careful. accomplish anything? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it can be one of these things where it's like, it's not working, it's not working, it's not working, but it might be a compositional pick, not a lane counter, <laughs> right. right? So. Uh, going to be interesting to see how that works. You know, we have seen how he's trying to trade in this. You know, when we, when we panned up towards the top side, he's basically, you know, just safeguarding to a minion. He's throwing down the E to get that Tempest Cripple onto the Gnar. He's trying to find these these little trades like that, but has not really been pressuring Thanatos whatsoever and is going to, I think, really have to get it a lane to make something serious happen. Yeah, I think JoJo, uh, oh, JoJo has to know that lane there because he could not have control. I'm assuming he knows our uh, there as, as well. he gets six as he starts getting really strong. And there, right there, is exactly what you were talking about. Just yeah. trying to jump in, get those quick, snappy trades. Always when the Gnar is in mini Gnar form, you do not want to jump in on the big one. We saw how no that kidding. goes in some of those earlier moments where Thanatos nearly found the solo kill on him. Cloud9 still sitting at just a little bit more than a 1,000 gold lead here. Feeling really good about the state of things. Oh. No Drake taken yet by either team. Sometimes early on when you see those... Void Grub takes, it's traded across the map for the other objective, but not quite the story that's going to be told right here. As JoJo, still a little bit behind compared to Mass, but that's what you would expect early on for the Yone. Well, you mentioned the Grub wow, take, but they were actually able Drake. to rotate down, essentially, get vision. To be fair, they were the so area, deep in their jungle a minute ago, C9 I'm not surprised that they feel like they have the, the ability Drake. to do so this. They're, the thing like, that's been impressive deep, about deep this war game next thus to the far, is the fact that C9 have had yeah, they just such a good, too. strong idea of where they've needed to be on the map. Oh, and Mask has to know. Oh, yeah, Mask has been for, for a okay. long Man. time. This guy is just power farming every single camp, dead on spawn, both scuttles, both objectives. He has gotten everything off the map. He's going to go back to base, and he's going to have a pretty big buy here. And we'll see what it is going to be. Is Thanatos going to be forced I mean, back? that was a pretty spicy engage. engage. All you need is Faded Ashes, man. Yeah. It just, it just you clears your ashes. jungle, right? That's so true, actually. Feels good. It's, yeah, Yone gets full build with look Berserker Greaves. Look at Oleko, look at Oleko. Faded Ashes. Yeah. Bamps after only. That yeah, we've got some nice go. early power spikes here on the C9 comp. So they're going to have uh, vision on uh, With that first hex drake, with those first three grubs, with the only kill so on the board. I wonder if they're going to be able to do anything here. with Everything that. Everything is going their way in the early game. Jojo trying to use that soul unbound to get as much damage as possible on Mask. He knows he doesn't have a whole lot of mana here left to work with. But a Insane. nice little use of the Caretaker Shrine there from Ole that set that up makes it so Mask can continue having his control over the lane. 
as it looks like JoJo's gonna go ahead and take the opportunity for a back here. Does have TP to return to lane. Exactly, and, and Mask isn't going for the kind of greedier build uh, with First Strike. A lot of times you see Corky play First Strike in these melee matchups to farm a little bit more gold. Uh, but he is playing You're a little get bit this more defensively, mask? obviously. How badly uh, do you want it? That fleet footwork, trying to make sure he stays alive. As oh, he's he miss missed that cannon, the cannon! That's FF15. Disgusting. Look at you miss the cannon. They're going to try to fight for a grub. Yeah. Right? Jack and Spawn. Cloud9 already got three, so it's going to be the question, you know, can really? they actually get this? JoJo held on to his TP, so he walked down towards bots, so he does have TP available. Uh, it's going to be all about that, but Mass picking up the package, I think. I think Why did Blabber start those? Is he? No, no. He's, well, package he's is gone There's now. no package. Yeah, package is gone, but Immortals have control over well, like, the top be side It seems kind of aggressive to start back that. In mid, it's Vulcan just causing a couple of problems here for Tactical. Immortals. Into the grub pit. First grub oh. going to be secured. C9 still looking to try to challenge Ooh. for this. Thanatos has the Mega Nar. Mega Nar is there. Oh, they Ole just leave. Jumping back over the I don't wall. blame him. One I think that was one. smart. On the second spawn of grubs, here comes the okay. Ziggs. A little bit of the Ziggs. A little bit of damage. Out of that just yet, but now oh, Vulcan's in danger. He's going to be able to catch up Vulcan. He's going to drop here just yet. The Aftershock doing a lot of work. Keeping him alive. Dawning with the Shadow TP. over the top. Castle down to 40% HP. And now here comes that teleport we were talking yeah. about from JoJo. Castle jumping back over I mean, the wall. At least he got one. Guard. That's really all they needed. Nobody dead on either side, man. They stopped him from getting the, uh, <laughs> the second dead, bite. Cloud9 walk away with five grubs. They're going to be feeling pretty happy about that. Mass just pushing out bot, but not going to be able to really get too much. They did get the TP from JoJo, obviously. Thanatos doesn't have TP, uh, but it is just going to be responded to by Vulcan. So the triple TP working out pretty well here. They don't Wow, use yeah. a plate or any sort of mm -hmm. tower damage down Honestly, on bot side. And they're Vulcan able to too take down from the uh, away. Corky, so but it still just feels feeling terrifying. feeling really, really good. The gold advantage just slowly building and building and building for them. And the big thing that was also part of that oh, fight that you might not have seen is the fact that Ole still does not have his bard oh. up, right? Because that fight Ooh, could go a little nice bit spicy more in IMT's favor if they have he went in? that strong uh, ultimate on their side. Um, but unfortunately, they don't, and that was going to always make that fight a lot. I mean, it turned out, ended up going I really mean, well. It's still a one kill game, but Cloud9 is up almost he is a two level and a half up, actually, thousand advantages. gold. The advantages that they oh, found nice, okay. through their farm leads, through the turret plays, oh, I, I can't to capture, see exactly how much just really had. starting to become a problem for two thousand so gold, twelve and a half minutes into the game is a big deal. Yeah, and I think we've set up the two battles, right? So Tactical does have a, a gold advantage over his opponent, that right? We're going to have to do this. Oh, no, that's true. Oh, yeah, that's right true. Ah, oh, Senna lanes. <laughs> Never mind. We don't even have that. But oh, C9 wait. are up. Uh, Is this pause or something? Uh, a good, uh, yeah, a good, healthy amount at almost 13 like minutes. Happened. Um, and we see again. Yeah, C9 this is killing it. 2K up. Look can look so clean when playing from ahead. I Especially think considering it's only like 13 really, minutes really in. Good but job of covering the map in particular. Uh, you know, like I love Vulcan on the farming Nautilus. I think it really oh, no, it's allows like one, him it's one to. One on each he, person. he does I, recognize pretty, again uh, those early roam timers to set noticeable. up that kill for JoJo when Mask was pushed out. Um, and that's been actually a huge difference maker, even though we haven't seen a lot of kills follow through after that. And I mean, Immortals has just been so on the back foot, okay. right? It's been Cloud9 uh, every level single six. play. They haven't really gotten even chip damage on any of the towers, wow. it feels like. Um, so the Ziggs has not really been getting a lot Two of value. Down you know, the has next, just been uh, used for Wave Clear, has always been on the defensive here. You know, it doesn't mean that Immortals can't then collect that gold a little bit later on, but no plates with a Ziggs comp. Uh, it's going to feel pretty rotten. Blabber is out farming everybody on Immortals <laughs> except for Mask. He has more farm than the Ziggs. He has more farm than the Lee Sin. The Karthus is out of control right now. Leandri's already completed for him. Yeah, Jojo I don't know if they're going to be able to. He just went back to base on that most recent purchase. Actually, Blabber has Darkseal, guys. Blade of the Ruin King completed too. You can see a couple of those first That's completions. That's beautiful. I also love this. coming online now for Immortals. Leandri's mirrored there in the jungle. Oh. Jojo wants to keep Jojo's looking. Jojo's looking. Jojo's looking. Jojo's looking. Jojo's looking. Jojo's looking. Armeo firing off the ulti, locks up Jojo, oh, but he's wow. so far away, it won't even matter, man. The Yone, it's just so easy for him to get and back C9 out of grabs danger. It and meanwhile, they focus to make that Jojo. in the bottom lane means C9 had more resources to throw into the Drake as the trade-off. And now they can go up and try and get the uh, Rift as well. Yeah, Jojo C9 didn't feel is heavily in the driver's seat here. He didn't even actually you know, use his ultimate defensively mm -hmm. there. He just snaps back, eats the root. It's completely fine. He saw that Mask wasn't really chasing. Blabber just kind of threw out the Requiem. Uh, huh. To try to dissuade them from chasing in, and it's another objective. It's like nothing crazy has happened, but C9 definitely has been the driver's done for Almost all game. It is the Eclipse for Castle, so I figured yeah. it was going to be that or, or Hydra, but it is just going to be Eclipse. Obviously, pretty good damage. Oh, oh boy! That oh, he misses! Oh, oh Jojo! Jojo! It was a goof. <laughs> that could have been so good, but it was so 
not. <laughs> Man, I was ready, ready to be like, up yeah, up. and they're setting up this dive. It's going to be Look great. At the, the team was ready to engage, too. Well, Everyone was there uh, besides Thanatos, like, oh, he's going to get well this. And he misses, and everyone's just like, because, eh, and uh, leaves. We'll, we'll turn to something good, except for that part. Um, is that the composition, not the other? Yeah, the That's, composition. All right, fair, 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 fair. You got uh, me there. Oh, wow, that one auto type did so much damage from Corky. We talked about how, like, okay, do C9 want to play Senna? We talked about how Berserker might be more comfortable in the current meta because if Senna is out of the picture, you can then play stuff like Dude, the Zeri, just you know, everywhere. If, you're, if you're defaulting to other different ADC options. But I really love this composition for C9 It's going to be interesting also to see how uh, tanky this uh, Nautilus right? gets. Right? Like, again, farming AP junglers is just something that's just such in his wheelhouse. Yeah, he's and just grabbing it. them come out with this kind of Oh, Senna Vulcan on his way up. Really cool. Man, and now Rayo's still Armeo chilling is once with JoJo. Again, looking for JoJo. And, and JoJo, once again, does not care at all. Using that sword down. They're not going to get anything for the this. They're Mask, just giving up Rift Rift safe. Free. This makes it so all of the attempts from the and mortal they know they're to try to too. stop this guy, try to slow him down, are just not working out. And yeah. every time they try, C9's getting something else. This time, the cost of Armeo being bottom is Rift Herald. Yeah, and they're going to try to potentially look for a dive here onto JoJo. We'll see if they can actually make it happen. JoJo's old, dude. TP right? is available for Thanatos, so it would be risky. And Thanatos, uh, is that Vulcan? Vulcan's going to be the one TPing yeah. down to defend. So they had two TPs available. They do get one. They, so they do have so many TPs. Threat of that, but uh, they just can't really get anything going. It's, it's it's reading rainbow for immortals right now. Every single thing that they do, <laughs> Cloud9 is just like, oh, yeah, read that one from the book. Yep, page one right there. It doesn't it feel like the immortals are it. really getting anything done. Oh. And JoJo again, he's just <laughs> JoJo's fine. soaking up so yeah, really much just attention. There on the bar at all. Immortals getting a bit desperate at this point. And despite soaking I mean, up all this you know, attention, he's, he's not even down that much farm. He's down currently like, like set, done nothing six but farm. farm. It is really tough. You want to make those plays happen. And look, now they're going to just kill Castle. They're going to summon the Carol here in Castle. I don't think he's got any way out. Now again, Inferno Bomb to try to clear the wave away, but it won't I mean, yeah, matter. He was able Blaffer's going to end up taking Blaffer. the kill thanks to the Leandri's burn. Oh, the Herald just no. barely gets the charge in at the very end to make sure that she contributes to that first turret. But why stop at one Sorry. when you can make it two? Second That's Herald charge coming out now. Barely got any damage done, damage. Won't get a whole lot more that, than just uh, that. C9's at 4,000 gold. Yeah, and what a suffocating performance oh, this has more. been from them. Oh, wait, right? do they have vision? IMT have only been able to get Okay, one they grab a Zerker. Oh, got the cleanse, though. And there they finally catch somebody out. They finally get someone when he's not next to a turret. Oh, it's the guy with cleanse. Yeah. Yeah, it is the guy with cleanse. Yeah, I mean, he even kind of, like, stepped back in to, to tank it, it felt like. <laughs> um, you know, not really too concerned at that point. And JoJo got the turret. But Cloud9 just cruising in the Immortals, JoJo's, I think. The yeah, JoJo's are really close even with the uh, Corky. They do have some playmaking. They do have so the all that the attention and stuff from they Castle, put on the JoJo. You're just already going on 5k different. down. Wow, Man, that, was, that was really well done from the old like closing. I think these hey. boys went to Home Depot and just nailed them shut. There's <laughs> just not a whole lot that Immortals have shown me this game yeah. that they've been able to accomplish. Emily, I think it's a really good thing that you pointed out earlier during that Rift Herald fight. The Bard oh. ulti just not being online in time. It just feels like Immortals haven't had the tools that they needed to make any of these plays Even if it was online, they I don't think it, I don't know that would matter, to be honest. Because of the way he's playing the Yone I and the Sidemen. They, they might be able, able to get any fights some of the Because they just aren't coordinated on the level that they need to be. And the Lee Sin pick still Drags hasn't shown us any dividends. Yeah, and obviously well, sorry, like, that <laughs> mid kill, right, set up JoJo for success really early. So again, good on Vulcan, recognizing after going into the enemy side I jungle mean, on that so timer, I'm just really not setting sure. up a lot of this. Um, and I think the I, I other think they big should, right? I think they should just rotate down and force it. These center compositions, they it's, also you, just have such do as immortals, global right? pressure, right? Yep. We called it out. Triple TP, you have Senna ult, you have Karthus ult. Uh, J oh. Jojo is also just really, like, Yone is such a mobile champion. Obviously, it's not a global ultimate, but, like, they have... It feels like that sometimes, <laughs> doesn't it? It does. When it goes so when, long down. When I'm playing any carry so and I get Q3. chucked on, it absolutely <laughs> feels like that. <laughs> Close enough to global. <laughs> Tough stuff for Immortals, man. Almost 5k, the lead now yeah. for C9. Baron's going to be spawning in under a minute, yeah, so C9 does, end up, does end up getting a pick, does end up getting a good fight for themselves. It's up. just going to snowball into an there's, apple. There's nothing and now let's see if Immortals want to try to do anything Maybe about can this try third break. Taking the fight in open w, ground when you're down 5k at 20 minutes is very difficult, but the alternative is just sit there and do nothing. Armeo. Fires off the Maokai oh, ulti I mean, and maybe. hits a field goal oh, with let's it. Let's see what right this ult the uprights. Nobody's going to get locked down. Uh, now JoJo goes oh. in. 
Bartle to try to keep up Mayweather alive from an extra yeah, second. Yeah, that was great timing Shadow to send Ole. says no. JoJo Ole ends up getting the kill in. credit with Ole's, the mini death mark. Ole's out, out actually. Ole's out of the way. Ole has to go journey back through the wall, back over to the turret. The C9 dragon, gets it. the fight, the game belongs to Cloud9. Yeah, it's just not even They're close. 5, I mean, I think it's not going to get any better for them, so they felt like they had yeah. to try. Huh. But Armeo's an easy kill. Ole, you know, gets both oh, back in by Vulcan, has to flash to even more. No, no, you got out. And there's just out. nothing going on here for Immortals. Cloud9 looking clinical in this one. That's a really strong start to this second week. Obviously, this is a team with really high expectations in mm -hmm. spring. Everyone yeah. had them power rank first. That's not the case going into summer, but they are supposed to be championship contenders. They are supposed to be playing at this level. Cloud9 yeah, looking good by Vulcan, but our male yeah, is just... The big thing that really hits deep. this off is the fact that the Maokai ult is able to hit no one, right? They just scatter that big ultimate that you'd want to trap people at uh, the pit is completely gone. That was a really and good... Then, uh, yeah, C9 just have complete control over e, this. I think it is by Bard. Might be W. This is e, rough. It's a... I feel like Immortals are really just stuck in a spot where there's nothing left they the can do unless Cloud9 right, gives them some major mistake to punish. And C9's just not doing that. That's the other thing about these Senna and Karthus compositions. Mm -hmm. You don't and ever Karthus. feel the pressure to be like, oh man, we gotta do something right now, boys. Because yeah. you're stacking and you're farming and eventually this spook of ghost is gonna press R and half of all their health bars <laughs> are gonna disappear before any fight. Well, and one of the toughest things is, you know, you talk about playmaking when you think about coming back, but it's like, who do you even kick in? Yes, I love it. Yes. Like, even if you kick in the Senna and you instantly kill it, do you win the fight afterwards? Like, oh. pro probably not, right? <laughs> so it's like, you know, you don't want to kick in the Karthus. You don't really oh, want to kick really in the Karthus. Really he's in mini for some reason. He's too far up or like, something. It didn't matter because like, it was on it's Vulcan. It's very hard to see how they really would be able to you know, for, find uh, that pick. Obviously, the only is not really in a position to get most of the time. Now that ult doesn't even matter for more mayo. That's actually just so heartbreaking. Again, can't even go in. I just don't know what anything in that sequence was trying to accomplish. The turret is already down by the time the Maokai ulti flies off. It connects on one guy who's 20 feet away from everybody else, and then they also hit him with the Bard ulti, but nothing happens. Oh, they got Ole? It's disjointed from Immortals. It's now Ole down to about one quarter HP. He's going to be taken low now, too. But the problem is, IMT has no damage. And Thanatos picks up kill number four for the side of C9. Ole steps Ooh, out of the way of the Dawning Shadow, Ole and very importantly so, if that Cinna ult would have connected the Karthus oh, Burr would have finished right him off. Yeah, he has the locket, so good to be able to stay alive with I the locket, with the can. Guardian. Is a little bit tankier, but Cloud9 is just going to go straight yeah. over to the Baron. Castle will up TP, but he's I mean, not Armeo's up, up, but... Yeah, Castle probably won't be Armeo around to be able to contest for this. Immortals right. have yeah. to try to keep these guys away, and that is at least the power of the Ziggs showing up. Immortals will not surrender the Baron this early, but C9 is up to a 6,000 gold. No, he doesn't have ult. I was trying to time it. You're against Corky, it's a Corky lot of yeah, so That small. would be one of the only places probably that Immortals yeah. could win a fight. So I think <laughs> that's a big was mistake. Like, Wait a second. <laughs> yeah. Wait a second. Why are we doing Baron here, guys? Yeah, I was waiting for the like, how do you, I was waiting for the question from Clayton. like, how do they get back into this? And it is like, oh, kind of a Baron mistake, right? Because <laughs> yeah. theoretically, IMT they have a lot of really good tools in an enclosed space like this. If the Maokai ult and the Bard ult can kind of freeze people in place for that quirky poke, for yeah. that Ziggs poke to come in, it could end up being very dangerous for C9. But all of that stuff has to hit, and it has to be timed well. So do you guys oh. count one grub as avoiding a perfect game? Yes. Yes. I so actually the, asked I so asked is, Twitter, and they said I asked Twitter. it That's avoids a, a single grub avoids a it's perfect so game. It's so hard to get a perfect game It nowadays. is. Yeah. It is. One grub is so easy to get. Yeah. It's it's really hard to do. Yeah, but you I don't know play, if the pros uh, are like, we perfect. just so it's a no can't let them have a perfect <laughs> yeah. game. Let's take one grub. No hitters are really difficult to get. Yeah. It's pretty well, tough to do. This, this, could be a, this could be a no hitter. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I I think Castle got hit a couple of times up there in that top lane against the Narm, man. I don't... Because this is da a damn near perfect game. I mean, it's, I'm, yeah. I'm, it's like, I'm not going to curse it, but... It's about as close as you can get, they but... They basically didn't even hit a Cloud9 I mean, tower. it, it doesn't really matter that they catch Vulcan. Vulcan's so tanky. Vulcan's so tank. in some trouble, but it's just going to be able to walk it out. Oh, JoJo's yeah, in? Just Spider-Man's away from now, and JoJo's going to reset okay, his great position. Okay, great Ulfire Mayo. Once again, that Malkai LT not getting the lockdown. Really good Ulfire uh, Tactical. The wall, he drags our Mayo They're in. Now, Wait, the Mortal! The Mortal! Let's see what they can do with it. Nice little bit of a Bard ulti here. Okay, they got Blabber. Wait, they actually got Blabber. That's insane. Oh, but the Ulfire Blabber afterwards is so punishing. C9 might have lost their jungler, but they're still looking to keep the fight going. Oh, Thanatos that was to get so away. beautiful by Castle. Boomerang in his awesome follow by Thanatos. Tried to fight. It was the best fight they got all game, and they still got whooped. And one of the best fight, one of the reasons why it was the best fight they got all game is because Thanatos was pushing bots. 
side. <laughs> he wasn't even I, there that, at that the was, start of the fight. I mean, that's a like, start. Okay, when are we they got going a little bit of gold out of that. On, on the split pushing in order Armeo. to join the fight. Uh, are we even going to need him? They do end up pulling like him later on. He scenario. comes around the back side of the fight. On that, or, but yeah, he wasn't even there to know, begin tactical. with. So I did, we did see the window for right, so IMT I thought this was a really good old by It's pretty nice setup, actually. They got the flash and flabber and everything. Nice timing there. Or Mayo jumping in there the uh, with his W. He locks him down. They get the one kill finally on Ooh, the flabber. So they are on the board. Mayo so they're just Oh, Jojo, you're just so good. Pushed back so far. And like you said, Dan oh, Jojo's was like on a knife edge arrives, the whole time. It's just chaos. There's no way Insane. that IMT are going to be able to win that fight. Well, Azale, it's oh, no Jojo played that so right well. next door to a perfect game. But it's still Brazil versus Germany in soccer. And that's still pretty one sided. <laughs> you're not wrong. Interesting old fire mail. You might, you might wish you didn't say it, but you're not yeah. wrong. <laughs> it's just banter. What are you talking there you about? Go. True, true, true. Gosh. All right, Immortals. Let's yeah, see what you can do. Can we banter for the dragon. For Immortals need to try to stop this one. It's uh, all in three I think that was, drakes that was, over to the side of C9. I'm, I'm, I'm missing Max something. Max tries to get away for the there from the death charge. That. He does manage to disengage far enough away that there is no follow-up. Wow, the damage by Berserker. These guys out. Armeo can't get anywhere close. Because Berserker oh, oh, just, Joe just goes in and finishes it now up. Now and Castle are what an old... The of the Requiem, and it ain't even gonna matter. It's a Double kill from Blabber, yes, Blabber. yes sir. To make it three. Ole goes on a magical journey. But it's a wow, journey Ole, okay. straight to the respawn. Blabber. Okay, Ole. Ole. Running, running, running. Try to get away. It's just no. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, he's gone. Yeah. It's gonna be a bear right off the back of it. Oh, he kind of walked the into the bear. He was being nice. He was being courteous. Man. All right. He knew so where they wanted to go. He just walked them on over to Baron. The dragon the whole time, and then just presses R, picks up a double. He's like, oh, great fight, guys. Just Karthus. Wow. Right? I think. Like, just. I, I mean, with this, this Baron, they're gonna end Like, I cannot reiterate how awesome it is to see nine pilot a composition like this because it suits their team. All right, Blabber. Way to go. Well, like this in the current meta. This is what I want to see them playing as he is now 16th all time. Just past past high. High. Yeah. Right. I think high we saw in the in the walk. It's broken. Yeah, as soon as Jojo went <laughs> in here. Yeah, there we go. Messed up. Uh, <laughs> give you a ride earlier. They do at least take it. That was down a good kick by Castle. I, it's just an unwinnable fight. I mean, I, I, Castle's the so god Jojo strong. there. They have it just really doesn't, struggled it to make anything matter. happen, you know, even with those playmaking tools. It was a good ult to start things off from Ole, you know, that was very much earlier in the fight. He hit the Senna, but then Vulcan just walks forward, throws his R onto Mask, hmm. so Mask can't actually follow anything up. He's zoned out. Yeah, that's Immortals mood. just couldn't get anything going this entire game. And you could see the frustration just on still. Armeo's face. His, and his I expression feel like did not move. It would be hard to be anything but frustrated from the Immortals' point of view in this game just yeah. because everything we've seen them attempt has not uh, worked out. It just felt I honestly, like C9 had I think a struggle Immortals hold on this game from the very beginning, and there was just nothing that Immortals I ever found for an answer. C9's gonna now C9 with the Baron, with the Dragon him. Soul, it's not even 28 minutes into the game, and they've got all of this. They're pushing the wave up down here in the bot lane. Pretty much uh, everything that Immortals I mean, is banking on is, hey, can Tactical and Mask clear the wave clear. to try to poke these guys? But Requiem's coming yeah. in. And oh, and Volga so just first, goes in. Oh, and Jojo, too! Goes oh. On the oh. The Senna card, this Wombo combo Look at is Castle's way more than Tactical He's going to get one turret with top lane. C9 with a five-man uh, march down Immortals the, the, the bottom lane. Excuse me. As Castle's still all the way up in top, he's got to try to recall. Jojo going in, looking to take out Mask here. Yeah, now every time Jojo Blabber, goes in, it's, it's our the threat of just away. someone the dying. Cannot and contribute same with in any meaningful way you know, to this fight. Uh, uh, C9 goes in, down, there's real Nexus fear that they're just going to melt sights. you and end the game. Jojo just jumping Game's over, though. It doesn't matter. It's just a formality for C9 at this point. Another Nautilus ulti, yeah, keeping Mask disgusting. locked away. They're going to kill on Mayo. They're going to kill Castle. Mask still trying to stand and fight, but it ain't going to matter. C9 pad the stats a little bit and make game one look. Free. That was yeah, rough. That was not close. That was really rough. I, I, and I was you know, talking earlier about how I really want to see Immortals against like a, a non seventh place team. But that Lee Sin did nothing yeah. the whole game. I hope that game I mean, two is not like that. Because that looks like unthinkably one sided. Everything yeah. not, didn't work. You know. That wasn't close or nothing. Side of the map, and, and for that to see the so strong side. So Thanatos with Cassante being picked up for Castle. Another, Almost certainly you know, he's going to be the target. I'm surprised they didn't yeah. try and get and rid of Senna. Azir locked in. 
for JoJo, obviously, this isn't something Ooh. we've seen as much as Yuri is still viable. He still does get picked, but we haven't seen as much in the land of AD like so One thing I want to point though. out for JoJo Pion's play. You know, last play at least crazy. There were comp there Immortals like Kalea, has some Bi, kind of scaling in this game. With, and I felt like he you know, played Kisante against those eventually He's probably my issue. favorite Azir player Zeri's last year, so I like their composition quite heavily from IMT side, but pretty heavily reliant on their poke. So I'm, I'm looking towards Math to seeing what he can do I don't in, know. in the early portions of the game, and if he can play outside. Talking about it, and no matter what games, JoJo's on, it feels like he just always has a decent game. When you feel that far behind, when you uh, feel who's, like who's, you're maybe? struggling so be much to, see, uh, to make a play just from five minutes into know, the game, and then you're Jace. playing that game out now for another 20 minutes afterwards, when it feels like Arreo's you already know the on... outcome that early, <laughs> it just really messes with the mental. And yeah. like, Arreo's back on Maokai, but actually came I those games are super draining. His ults uh, absolutely are a little so. bit more uh, We will see you know, how they're going to be able to start this one off, um, but... It may surprise you a little bit, you know, when you're talking about the comparison between like Tactical some, some and Berserker. Ults, but there you know, was both also these players have been really uh, pretty important for the team. Obviously, you know, we're looking kind of like historically. As Berserker's going to walk mid, Mask is very far up. This could actually go pretty bad for Mask. Wow. Yeah, Mask wanted to try Did to take not the, know that the early Berserker advantage there. there on JoJo, but Berserker hanging around expecting this. They're saying, all right, so Jace at level one wants to smack his ear around a little bit, why not just turn that back against him? Nicely done from Berserker. Yeah, that was really nicely done. Aww. Berserker's just going to walk again. He's oh my god, he's a, he's, he's a menace. He's completely ruining his lane. Uh, Mass is going to have such Mass a hard time, walk it, out, it feels but... like, from this spot. Already popped the potion. He's down incredibly low. Oh, he has to leave. One turn you know, for back. a really good trade for Mass level one. Ends up just being like a doomed lane almost, it feels like, in the 1v1 now because JoJo you know, he has health, has a potion running. He's going to be able to push this out. Still going to have the TP. You're having the TP back with your only buy being one health potion. That sucks. That's like, you know, normally <laughs> you want to really use rough. your first teleport. Grab yourself maybe like a good component item or something, right? Like a, well, one of those tier two type items. I don't, like know. I, I don't think it's as ruined as what right? they're calling it. But a health potion? How about the health potion you started with? <laughs> That's, yeah. You can have it back. <laughs> I will use my teleport <laughs> to reclaim the item that I previously you. Yeah. got. It's like, it's like if you die in a Dark Souls game and you go back and pick up your, your souls on your body. But you only had four. Yeah. Like, and you need wow, great training by Thanatos' <laughs> yeah, top side. He's going to need a little bit more. He's not even close. That one health potion full of souls. <laughs> oh, man. Well, the health potion's gone. It's gone. Look right. at wow. some green sparkles. Yeah, That's this Renekton is just well, I hope you get some in. value out of those green sparkles because this mid lane started rough. Thanatos with control oh, great. over the top great lane job at Matt. the same time. Jojo is going to at least be forced back, so Mask will at least get some lane priority for now out of that uh, out of that early use of the TP. Jojo going to have to He's go back and use his farm, first but... TP, but hopefully he can at least get something more than help push. Well, I'm really sad that he can, but we're going to do a, a vote here. So who's that or who's? This is between Berserker and Tactical. Berserker not having nearly as good of a spring as, as you kind of expected from him. He's trying to have a bounce back in summer, trying to kind of reclaim his spot as that top dog in the AD carries. But Tactical has been surprisingly good for him. So I'm really curious to see y'all in chat, whose stats are whose, see if you can actually get it right. All right, we'll, we'll check see. back up on that here in a couple of minutes. See how the votes end up shaking out. Wow, Thanatos! Down to 200 HP here. That Renekton oh, dominating the lane right. as Blabber shows up back in mid. Looks Never to rock mind. Mask up, stuns him. Nice Mask flash. The flash away underneath the turret. I thought they were going to get that uh, stun off. distance to not give up the kill. Yeah, that's Blabber the worst a little bit too when your jungler just shows up late. He kind of walks <laughs> in, throws a sapling. He's like, I was here too. We both ganked once, <laughs> like, right? What are you even doing here? <laughs> <laughs> I came mid. I ganked. <laughs> it's one, one, one on the gank counter. <laughs> No Dead jungle even. diff, it's even. <laughs> it's even. I was here too, guys. <laughs> <laughs> We're trying to Didn't you see the sapling? We've Rack all done that at some point in. before as yeah. the jungler, just to try Castle's to like get rid of some of the, the heat Holy, that was going to be on your push out already. for you, bro. Yeah, it's like, don't worry about it, man. I'll make sure none of these creeps go to waste. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, no. It's the worst feeling, Oh, he got the man, cannon. But, that's uh, what matters. Makes He's that not first that far behind. Happen. Last game, obviously, was uh, with that roam from Vulcan as well. They combined to get that early first blood. This time it's not a first blood, but you know, man, Mask can is just a, getting a, beat up on kill in or mid lane. Like that, that can and really, really turn this fight no around. fault of his own. I mean, it's Berserker really there two times in like the first though. minute of lane. Then he's getting ganked out by Blabber. They do Blabber, luckily have so some This is really from, tough. Uh, you know, you're playing Leona. against the Azir, who's going to scale incredibly well. And you want to be bullying him out. You Ooh, want to be playing with that pressure. Uh, being I was going to say great trade for Mask, but JoJo's really able to get a few last issues that you were talking about them having, where you're going to have to deal with this really beefy Nautilus who's farming and this Edgewani. Okay, Castle, I see you. Okay. Castles? Split pushing would have been one of the ways to kind of deal with that. Great trade. Oh! It's going to be tough for him to get anything done there.
Ooh, top now lane looks fun. We just, need hold to on, go back top a little lane. bit more help from the team. A little bit more than just that uh, previous Malkai. All right, Malachi Olay. What you going to do? We saw. Olay Nothing. is seeing maybe he can get involved here a little Another bit. Another gank. Cleared out that ward. Yep, that ward is gone now. Jojo that feels is dead. so Let's much see. less safe. See what you, what you able to that ward. come back with Blabber. Uh oh Poked him in the you eye. Got a, you yeah. got a ward as well. Nobody likes that. Vision diff. Gonna that was quick, control. actually. Mask cleared <laughs> that so quick. It doesn't sound kind of minor, but that really hurts. Yeah, no, I've, yeah. I've never had, like, got poked in the eye from something and thought, man, that was okay. Exactly. No, I always hate it, right? Same thing. Yeah, Ole's just coming and up he's here. He's still here. Maybe what an interesting <laughs> analogy. <laughs> Another gank. He's going for the oh, cannon. Yes, we're going to target him. Here we go. Oh, we All right. go, there we go. There we go. Boom. This makes up for the level one. <laughs> Now it's no support support to be up. It's an, and Berserker honestly, came and ruined your lane, but I target on the cannon for you. We're we're clowning on it a little bit. Trying to clear it, this, it's uh, so rough, dude. Oh, it's that so would have been spicy. We should have this situation because the I, I saw the I saw in the, the idea from teammates from Cloud Nine has just been so much more meaningful yeah. for JoJo than what Mask yeah, has received well, from his own teammates. And now Blabber once again, and I'm just a free reign of this void. I don't know if they have vision on it, but our male is on drag. IMT colors anywhere near this. So at least this time it's like an actual. First three grubs for Blabber and Seed. Yeah, it's not Blabber. Thanos just absolutely pulling the entire he jungle and taking everything. Came back. He has that full phage. You know, feeling pretty good about his buy. They have top lane push. Obviously, mid lane has been going. Funnily really enough, well, uh, Sejuani's so still up in farm. Blabber's just scuttle. really good at farming right here. Always a little bit careful about Cassante under those towers, though, as you are pushing yep. up. Do not want to give him the opportunity to chain Ooh. those CC spells together. Good but hey, back, at least mask. this time around, Immortals accomplished what they survived in game number one. Emily talked about it, how Cloud9 in game one, they were able to grab that first set of grubs, immediately rotate all their pressure down into the bottom side so that Immortals wasn't able to trade the Drake back. Wait, this time, tactical. Immortals did right. get that Drake. And so here's the results of our earlier quiz. Tactical was on the right, Berserker oh, wait, was on like. the left. Tactical the goal right. differences are really close, but it's Tactical's KDA that was popping off. Yeah, so this is just in summer, Oops, obviously, bad, but Tactical <laughs> had a really good I don't. week one. Uh, and 60% of y'all in chat got it right, so you weren't confused, you weren't tricked. I, I well, was totally well tricked. Well done. The other 40% of you, you guys need to do your homework better. No kidding. And I definitely I was wasn't going to vote the with the 40% way. <laughs> yeah, I definitely wasn't going to do that. There's a reason that I, yeah, yeah I, don't know, I was just making sure you guys felt good about it. Now, how's, how has it felt for you, you know, coming into summer here and now? I'm going to get Mask. Uh -oh. Wow, Mask just walks well, up. Well, I think Mask is about to not feel really great coming into summer on this one as Blabber Ooh, and JoJo fight the first blood. That's a great first. He didn't even walk into mask. Blabber. Both games in this. This series, this That's dude so is the rough. target. Did you see that Bramble Smash from our mail, though? He was there, too. <laughs> <You're> <laughs> They, they had a control board. He walked <laughs> up. He's wait, already wait. dead. I have to rewatch that. Both I'm assuming he didn't have vision. I'm assuming he placed a, the control board and then got jumped. Don't don't worry, Mask. Isaac is tilted for you. This is such a difficult state of the game to have yeah. to play out, man. I don't even feel like Mask is really doing much wrong. It's tough. No, it's it just really no, Mask tough just got to to 17 different and times. And this is just great play from Cloud9. And that's really uh, who you have to give the credit to. It's just the team play from Cloud9. You know, oh, they're not gonna, um, they're not gonna reach. Show the kill. Favorite coming into this. Let's not which lie. kind of makes sense. It was just kind of open and shut. The bottom. Um, but they lots, are a team that's really CC strong. Started with They are a team that's good. Old really by well JoJo in scrims. So I can do. they can kind of bring that power to stage. Uh, but Cloud Nine, it's the team play that they're kind of destroying them through. And I think that is something that you're pretty happy to see if you are a Cloud Nine fan. Um, because yeah. it's not just ah JoJo just like I mean really yeah I think a lot of it comes down to just won. seeing what they're playing through able smart map movements they're playing through good coordination they're playing he has through the cleanse, good drafts so and these even are kind if he of things get caught, that he, he has that hope of, of uh, nine, getting out of it uh, with some of their issues in spring so I do think it's definitely and unfortunately Castle's getting stomped by Thanos in the top lane Olay trying to most respectful way I can say stomped it's rough basically a farm fest I mean Tactical has a call and he's just how you down thirty farm you know the question is. Can okay, probably like 20 after you pick up this wave. But even then, you know, the top side of the map. that's rough. 800 gold for JoJo, 800 gold lead for Thanatos, uh, and it's also, you know, a good 450 is... there for Gee. Blabber. Bot lane is basically even, you know, but it's like, is the Zeri going to be enough? And Blabber already picking up his first completed item there with the Zeke's Convergence. This thing wow. is such a great Blabber economy buy for jungle is now. He's you the first one to, to you get, get an item. You get ability haste. That it's one kill really coming to clutch. Possibly want. Plus the extra part of it activating for the slow field when you use your ultimate. This thing is just great for any sort of tanky jungler. It's and it's only 2,200 gold. It 22. is cheap as All right. we so got this guy's only going to become more and more of a menace.
Yeah, absolutely. You know, a lot of that these is really support cheap. item buys. I've, I've been in meta for uh, tank. That's like two components when I'm building IE. Now. <laughs> you know, in the past we were seeing a ton of like Knights Vow and stuff. Uh, we're seeing a lot of like Warmogs be pretty popular this year, uh, yep. this season as well. Ooh, Vulcan's uh, up. Let's see if Mass is going to just unfortunately items, get absolutely. Support items obviously very, very strong. Mass oh, again. No, oh, no, Mass. Oh, man, Vulcan. Oh, man, Vulcan. I'm so Once sorry. Once again, the dredge line to follow oh. up. The blabber gets involved just to make sure, and he'll be the one taking the kill. Credit wow, Blabber got two, two kills here. C9 here as they're up almost 3,000 gold. Carry it. Don't you forget it. Game. Yeah, that's tough. I mean, he had his flashback, so maybe that made him feel like, okay, I can actually step up a little bit here. Oh, but and he's Vulcan just going to get the grubs again. The juke, finds him with the hook. Let's and see. Are they going to try and steal? Is Armaia going to try and steal this one grub? By the time he actually got out. Um, because he gets hit by the dredge line, he gets Ooh, actually, up are they the just gonna charge. Then there's the ulti from Zidwani as well, and they're gonna use that mid lane prio to try to come over here, but Immortals oh. wanna fight. Yeah, oh, a TPN, Vulcan in goes in? They fire off the Maokai ulti, but they only get okay. Vulcan Okay, actually, if Zeri can pick up a kill here, here this could be an, an awesome fight for them, even if they lose the fight. As long as Tactical gets a kill, it'll be worth it. And now we gotta nope. see if okay, Cassandra can get anything back. back as they try to have Castle get involved, but it ain't gonna be enough. He's down to 100 HP. Ooh. And Thanatos still has okay, that Dominus ready to go. Out. Wait, back over the wall. wait, great job by right, Thanatos. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Okay, Tactical actually got one. Tactical actually got one. Great job by Mass. Jumping on Jojo. Is Castle gonna be able to get it? Okay, Mass actually got a kill too. Blabber's dead. All right, double kill for Mass. A double kill of a man. Okay, so he's been jumped all game, but now he's kind of back into it. too, because they're staying around if they can actually support him. He flashes forward there. This is actually so big. Their win con really is tactical getting ahead. He's able to picking up a kill out, there is there. huge. The peel comes in from LA. They get the one kill. Jojo had walked back over to try to see if he could actually help Thanatos out. He dies as well. So it's that was actually really weirdly done. I, I wish I could rewatch that. We'll see nine stuff for there. there. They need to get some momentum in this game, and that gave them a little bit of it. So that was absolutely the Renekton jumping in. I, I understand that part. I, I didn't and see didn't the start off good for other side of it. Nine had a great fight. So I think this was a really good start Jack, by Cloud Nine. Starts off pretty well. They right, they're able to really, Armeo. really, really push like Armeo back. Armeo. They kill, actually they kill Armeo. Tactical, Tactical had to jump away to not die. Healing actually coming through from Castle. Oh, Mass is full health when he enters. He's able to really great job by Thanatos. Just oh, he's just too far. Just kind of baited in. Slice, flash, stuns him up. But the yeah, that's rough. There, he was just a little bit too peels, far. And, now Jojo and then Jojo tried to help. Around, and good punish by Mass and Castle. Gets pulled in. Then the Wait, why did Blabber like, okay, flash? Well, we so Blabber looks for the W flash. Whiffs on that. Everything he's, kind he's of falls still apart Sidwani. from Cloud9. He there let the two, no two kills get to his head. I get it. I they get had it. Three grubs. They had six grubs there. They got the first three. And Reaver just kind of laughing at it. Because it's it wasn't even a good play to attempt, and they failed on the execution. Yeah, you could see the the frustration on Thanatos' face. Reaper, obviously, that was crazy. Just, um, amused by it, because it's like, what in the hell? Let's see. What the hell? Buddy? Yeah, right. That's just it, not it really is on the back of it. Oh, tactical, I think. I think Zeri's Very the way that you win this game. Again, tactical is such an important piece of the puzzle for Immortals. Whenever these guys can find what works for them in game, he's always a huge element for that. Also, he still doesn't have an item built. Two though. of those kills for Immortals. Actually, thirteen is minutes. This is the guy who's C9 item. put so many is it resources really still into setting just, behind. Oh, okay, no. Also, Thanatos. Exactly. He's actually up a tiny bit of gold. No way. Are they diving Thanatos here? We're gonna see if they can find a dive on a Thanatos. Yeah, Thanatos down to forty. Staying alive for now. Dominus doing a good job. Armeo's just standing there, there, dude. He's still just trying to get a little bit more burst back on these guys. Thanatos, dude, Thanatos, you're insane! Two for one, Thanatos, you're what insane! Castle, are you going to be able to die? do that too? Yeah, Castle, to can you show him up? The damage doing it. Let's see, you're playing Cassante. Like yeah, Castle Something trying spicy? to survive his Something own spicy? 1v3. Gets away for now. C9 trying to make sure they don't get juggled around by the third. No, nope. ah, he can't compete with Thanatos, bro. the kill. C9 get their dive cleanly, and now they're gonna that pick up a lot of extra money. That was crazy. I don't want to see that one again because I'm yeah, no Berserker kidding. Let's see, let's see if Thanatos do that again. All came out from Berserker, but it was right after. Armeo was just sitting there, tanky died, turret, and, and they were just died. unable to kill him. Um, and you know, had that come out a little bit earlier, maybe he could have actually survived it because that got really messy for Immortals on the top side. Yeah, it did. Um, but let's see it one more time. Okay, okay. Uh, so you know, is the so look at look at this. Armeo is just tanking turret. He's just standing there. A late all from Berserker. Because if this actually comes through, so it looks like all the damage is from Armeo. mass. Is that's why. So Leia has no the damage. Shielding could have actually saved him. Like now it comes out. That is really late. And then yeah, honestly, no, I, I think this was well played by Castle. A three-person dive with Sejuani. Yeah, um, that was. You gotta do in your best. That could have actually been turned around. Let's see. I think maybe you should have tried to Q three Blabber. Actually hit Armeo, who was tanking the tower. 
He would have died. I kind of see what he was thinking could, though. Maybe he was thinking like whatever, get the squishy over, person like his ear. Shield over. But I think Maybe he should have tried to, to kill Sejuani and, and then turn. Even have a uh, again. I've no idea what I'm talking about. Just absolute nightmare this is just material. opinions that be once again like flowing the around. Frustration on the face of immortals as Could they engage my castle. This play is just not what they need it to be. Dives like that, you could have a be a guaranteed thing. If you're sending those three guys up there, you're making wow. the call. Okay, they're that starting. Dive. That should be a clean execution. Do they have that kind of prior to start? I think rip. one of the things that kind of went wrong there I think is, it's, I think I mean, this is going to get stolen from us. We just summoned I think Dan, but Armeo was off. the one holding aggro instead of just having it be Ole. And Armeo yep. pulled aggro and then just stood on the very edge. So he wasn't contributing any damage whatsoever. And so it was just up oh, to... Oh, yeah, but I just blocked that. Wow, no, never mind. Really able to do it See, now just didn't find a good way to engage. He just picked up aggro, goes in, uses his spells, then just walks straight out with Armeo and Maskinating the whole time. I think that could have looked a lot better. Um, but, I mean, that's a full HP Renekton with ult, so he is pretty tanky. You can't kill him quick. Huh. Well, at least for Immortals, there is a little that's bit of light shining in the darkness here. Got themselves the Rift Herald. An ult by Ole. Oh, engaged by Vulcan. Vulcan underneath the turret. Wait, Ole! Ole, who has to flash out to survive. Oof. Still got about 358 Oh, wait. That was beautiful, left. Castle! Castle, that was so beautiful. Castle, that was so beautiful. What was that? Taken down. It's what was that? Yeah, that Q3 into the, the W? Kill. Nicely played there from Castle to punish C9. That yeah, was that was beautiful. Just actually scoop. I actually thought Ole was going to get punished, but I was wrong. Pulls him right into the tower, Ooh, sets Vulcan. him up for another kill there. As Cloud9 were trying Engage to get aggressive, trying to see if they could actually get some kills and just bully down that tower. Weren't able to do it. I appreciate the Thanatos kind of dashing in he and tactical saying yes. He is getting very yes, strong. And this is one of those games where you start that. to look and yeah, Cloud9 are ahead. But you start to know there is that opportunity if Tactical has the yeah. right fight for Azari to take over a game like this. There could always be a Ooh, that would have hurt a lot. Tactical has the whole oh, wait, Vulcans! How did Vulcan get back there? Right we'll see what he can do. As Mass could be in danger, Vulcan immediately. Oh, just flash! I don't blame Mass. Great job. Away, but now Good instincts. I don't know. If Vulcan got back Jojo there. I wish you could watch that. The majority of the damage what an old nine, by nine, Jojo! With the dawning shadow coming in to guarantee the kill onto the enemy mid laner. Oh. As Armeo dies next, and Ole Let's see. Cast is going to do anything? So Cast is going to get at least one. Wait, tactical. Is tactical be able to clean it up with the old? Okay, got one. Come on, tactical. What are you able to do here? It's all on you, really. Cast on tactical. Let's see. C9. Blabber gets away. Back underneath the tier one. All turn. right, all right. Again, Tactical got one. Settles. If yeah, every fight Tactical gets take down one, the rest it, of those kills. That and could Tactical be it. Did have to actually commit his flash to get that R Ooh. flash in and make sure he was able to get Ooh. the kill. Does get I really stress that Root hit Tactical. He's there, but it looks like Immortals are considering trying to go back in for this. Yeah, they want to see if they can get wow, something okay. else out of Berserker, but it just ain't gonna happen. So Immortals, has Immortals has some very, jitters, very but it seems like they're still situation. confident. They, they still know what they can do. Gold, but Immortals are doing Let's see, a what, 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 what item spread is uh, Tactical going to have after this? Yeah, absolutely, they are. And I think oh, they're Runons, capitalizing interesting. on, on the mistakes from Cloud9 also. You know, this time, I think oh, the it was a TP by Vulcan. I was so confused how Vulcan got back there, but TP makes a lot of sense. Good patience. Immortals are going to abandon their members this time around. Uh, the early trap was laid from Vulcan, throws out the ulti, forces I, I the think flash, that was 100% the right just flash. Uh, every, every situation. Lay has no flash from that early I think he, play where they bullied him off the mid lane tier one. So they want to try oh, to it's just a good shuffle. Then this is something you can do. Great you think shuffle. This is going to be a Cloud9 dominated I mean, fight. Fine by Romeo, fine by Lay, good TP by Castle to follow up. But just a great shuffle really turned that around. So and then off Tactical would have gotten there like a second sooner. But I think this is still great. Tries to get the kill, gonna, is able no, to do so, couldn't even. chase down for more, and Jojo will be able to get out of the reach of this. I was saying, so they got something with the rift, though. The That's an upside. One, and potentially could get a charge on the tier two. It's just going to send him back down to meet with uh, here by our male. By, by He's going to send it down towards <laughs> mid lane. <laughs> Look at him go. He's not going on a road trip. <laughs> Wait, where are you going? And if he gets to mid lane, that's another gank. It's just drunk. This is like driving out in Ohio. You don't even need a parking hey, spot. Happens? You just like drive the thing into the ditch. It's fine. Yeah, park over by the, the trees. Yeah, that's yeah, crazy. Just drive her into the ditch. It's all right. He, he all just right. used it as a quick back to all get right, to blue. Now Shelly's going back on the road. She's trying to get to her actual destination. <laughs> Poor Shelly. Just being, just being used. Uh, that's that's, that's disgusting. Disgusting. I love driving the Rift Herald, man. It's one of the goofiest additions to League Are you a Legends. good Rift Herald driver? No, I'm terrible at it. That's, that's, that's one this, of the This is one of my favorite changes. Is the, uh, the Shelly. You would think you'd be good at it. It's literally Skarner. Come on, Jojo. Come on, Jojo. Come on, bro. Well, new Skarner's only been out for a couple of months, right? I got a decade on the previous Skarner. Okay. Previous Skarner didn't Actually, have Actually, it's so crazy. Yeah. He's letting it get some yeah. form Skarner, so that the... Uh, it's kind of hard to drive when you got big old... Oh, yeah, Immortals going to pick up that really form later. That's crazy. Well, let's see if Immortals can make this bottom lane push work as they are going in.
win for that tier one. Should just be able to knock it down. No contest. Immortal. Honestly, I'm impressed. Compared to game number one, they have been doing a lot better. Of a oh, job. they're doing I think so much better. Been playing more this is looking like a fair one, fight at this point. has been opening up more avenues for Immortal. And, 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 like Immortal was one this still three, game. Zero, and two on this and I get that. This, this, this Zeri. Deathless. The series on two items. This guy is the sauce. This guy yep. is the secret ingredient. And he, he's wow, got two that's... items now. Those okay. are both completed, Man, so he's in a really good spot. And yeah, I mean, compared Ooh. to game one, this is way more competitive. Good job, also, JoJo. Compared to game two. Look at this think wave. Back to the start of this game, how bad it looked for Mass. <laughs> like, this game I thought was going to be just as bad as game one, it was just as one sided as game one. But Cloud oh, he Nine dashed into it. Whoops, I've done that before. It's worst feeling ever. Punish, and weren't allowing Cloud9 to just kind of get away with it, you know? You know, Blabber really fights, helped get scratch, JoJo. And they were able to really ahead. do a good job in those to keep At the same time, he, he it is snagged still both of the kills early on. Cloud9. It is still a dragon advantage I wonder if that's going to end up punishing him, that most of the gold was on Blabber. Instead of, like, Azir having two kills. Right? So let's be honest. They still are in a good spot. you got three meatballs. you got Azir Sana scaling up. They're in a good spot, but the morals are going to have a chance. C9 good, right? still have not knocked down this Oh, Danatos from behind. From Immortals. Oh, Castle's able to force that right now. Thanatos out. and Castle both going to run that into one another. That could have been awful. Off the side here. Thanatos needs to disengage because he knows that Immortals would be able to collapse on that 1v1 faster. The Maokai ulti forces C9 back. Immortals still Ooh, hold the tier by one Jojo. for the time being. But again, the range, the, the power, has the crazy of the Azir and Senna together is going to make this difficult to defend. If that gets much lower, it's just... So easy for C9 to hard force. I think they're gonna and still take the oh, fight. Oh, nice just engage dead. immediately oh, no. to Ole. Burst him down to about Ole, one. Ole got the ult off at the very least. To but the last bit of I can't believe he survived. Quite gonna be enough. Immortals I think that, with very low health. You think C9 is just gonna stay Ole. to grab this mid? Significant injuries on both Armeo and Castle. He's got Warmogs though, mm. so he's just gonna heal yep. it right back up. You know, does soak wow. up a lot of that damage. Warmog is looking super strong on Ole right here. W stays alive. And, uh, is gonna I think be the most important thing right is that tactical fold, so, so they could still try and fight here. If they want to they're gonna be able to actually defend the tier one myth that I thought Cloud Nine would have been able to grab, okay. you know, given yeah. the situation. Old, but so has to be really uh, they're careful. doing a pretty good job with it, of just not allowing Cloud Nine to get you know, an insurmountable lead. So I mean, one of the arguments there? against Warmogs as an item historically, and one of the reasons why it hasn't been S tier, is like, yeah, you get health. But that's all you get. Health yeah. is the only thing. But for a champion like Leona, with those built-in resistances Aftershock, like you're talking about w. with the Eclipse, yeah, it's just so much Ooh. value. Any champion that takes that Aftershock be really careful. something JoJo built in with like a that, or something? you just end up Menacing. maximizing the usefulness of that stat pool that you're getting with the Warmogs. And plus, the bonus move speed that's a part of it now, too, really feels good oh, for a support-type so champion, whether you are tactical. a hard support or whether you're just a supportive-type jungler, to move around the map, clear wards, You know, with Azir... Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we'll say the Immortals have got to find a way Baron. to be more effective Mostly with their engages. These Maokai ults through two games have just felt so useless. You know, they yep. need to be able to make sure they're in a position to capitalize on them. Oh, and great engage by Vulcan. Armeo is strong. It's really low. It does survive. But is there an ult by Senna coming? one of those situations where... Maybe not. Oh, they do go to scrap the mid. No, that makes sense, though. Is coming great over engage! Great yeah, engage by Vulcan! And the TP coming in away! Oh, great flash by... Oh, my God. That's such a good flash by Tactical. That was crazy. A kill by Mask. Castle! Oh, Castle! It's a one for one immortal. That was good insane. Job there to punish JoJo. Yeah, really nice flash from Tactical. That was actually oh, a JoJo's weird one that flash died too. That he had to go for because he basically had to go diagonally down to get over the wall. I thought they were going to get Tactical, but that was an insane that JoJo flash. Was for. And he still has Cleanse up too. There, I think it's a pretty easily won fight from Cloud9. And they can push more forward, but. As a result, Tactical does survive. He has Last Whisper already. Do you think he has the... It's uh, really only the spawn to Zier turret that kind of dissuaded Immortals from chasing like him more. Probably not yet. We can watch it one more time. This tower is getting low. Armeo's low. It so was just a great... Oh, what board. a beautiful engage by Vulcan. I don't and know how that looks to be hit. Jojo, as he goes forward, this angle on to Tactical. This is what I'm talking oh, about. What a bit flash. of a flash. Uh, e through the wall partway, then flash out of the E. And it's honestly good that Mass picked it up. It would have been better Tactical He would have got scooped out of it. But Mass picking it up is pretty good. They ended up trying one for one. So, I think very well played here. That was super Castle, great for really quick They did lose mid, but they were going to lose the mid anyway. Flashes, but JoJo dies and he stays alive. I mean, the thing about Tactical, the narrative around this guy for as long as he's been a pro is that his consistency has always been the main concern, right? Yep. He's had some really bad games, but he's had some really good games. And when this guy what? has Look at that poke! Flipped, it's really fun to watch. Absolutely. Where I mean, did it's, the it's life kind of the old go from Berserker? The, uh, AD carry tier list, right? And it's like, yeah. number one, Tactical on a good day. Number 11, tax going on a bad day, <laughs> <Right>. you know? <laughs> it's like, that's insane. Uh, so that that's kind of the, the thing that he has been fighting against. And 
You know, we'll see. The if they're going to be able to make this one happen. G9 has two. Those this would be so be boring. Really but win they can, Even if they they can win force the series, Baron. If, if back, they see anyone big. go down yeah. bot, they can say, like, all right, come try and stop us. We can do this more than just in scrims. We can do this on stage. We can take down the big dogs. And okay, Mask is starting has, to uh, we saw that shot though. Ooh! Of his okay, all gone yeah, from... Armeo having a flash there. Just Jojo, but Armeo had to use flash. Man. Like, he's got Leandris, no. he's working on his own warmogs, but this guy will melt. He is paper if Cloud9 gets a couple of seconds of free-firing time on him. Let's see, Top 60 River, seconds. We've got the... 70 seconds, Jojo's short, ult's gonna be back up. of C9 as Immortals still they just trying to stay oh, around. Oh, wait, Armeo! Flash this time. Armeo is just... Okay, no, Armeo's just gonna ult out. Now. Blabber, but now they don't want that ult for an engage. The enemy jungler, you're going to be in a come great from spot to force a bear in play after. Oh, but Tactics is not quite Armeo. there yet, so they have to wait a second. Stay safe, stays alive. As Berserker and the rest of C9 now going to file out oh, of the C9 top just going to go down the drag. They use the Sejuani ulti to try to go in for the big engage there. So just going to back up here a Good little, little bit until they go again. Vulcan the is a tanky boy! Engage potential here on the Nautilus as well. As Jojo Olay! Jumps back wait, Olay lands it! On a Jojo! And Jojo's down! Mask kills Jojo! Mask kills still full health in the back. Let's see what he can kind of do. Oh, he's dead. Oh, wait, Tactical is just dead. Oh, that's so unfortunate. C9 just turns it all around. Wonderfully played. What a hook by Vulcan. All of his hooks have been insane. Tactical just walked too far forward. Didn't respect it. From Vulcan that makes all the difference. Had the patience there. Yeah, that was crazy. He from Zeri. He dashed back. And thinking that they were going to go in, but Vulcan held the hook. Hits it onto him. And I mean, yeah, no at least uh, at least Mass able to pick up this drag, but on I and think C9's going to be able to put in no a lot of work with Immortals this, uh, Baron. Take the fight. So great hook, great play there from C9, but you'd like to see Immortals still staying aggressive, trying to look let's for these see. fights. Yeah, I like the fact that they wanted to go in and say, hey, let's see if we can pick up JoJo here. The fight starts off good for that. But man, oh man! Yeah, they, they really did just need to disengage, I guess, after they got Jojo. That Drake, so it's not like C9 I wonder if I'll be able to see it again. Uh... Oh yeah, beautiful, beautiful. But here's another look at how it started. Yeah, great with a job by Olay, yeah, and then, then immediately ulted as well. They actually get buffered over the wall, so Jojo pulls it back. And I was thinking from here they wouldn't be able to finish so him off. So tactical just ulted by the Vulcan. Just gets in range for the hammer form. Goes to the skies, gets over the wall. They're able to get it. And this is where you're thinking, all right. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But someone needs to be standing in front of him. Yes, he did make a mistake there, and actually getting a little bit too far. They were just a little bit too. You know what I mean? Castle was walking from that spot because the hook here, gets but out of instinct, from Castle, probably was just clicking around. There is around. potential for Zeri to take it over, right? And yep. you just have to realize that in those spots, yeah, it's all about Zeri. You don't matter anymore. You are just a wall between Zeri and the other team. You got to give your life for the cause. Okay, there. I'm seeing. I'm seeing and, it. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm seeing what happened. That that's, that's just on Castle or anything like that. You know, Tactical did make a mistake, but you got to be playing frontline for him. Castle now also Ooh, being Castle forced gets shot, out of the Immortals dude, what? jungle. C9 with total control over the rift, and they are just going to start picking That's up so much extra tank, gold uh, here. Taking full down tank these turrets. Hurts. Mid lane tier 3 under pressure as JoJo's got that enchanted cannon minion. Vulcan, Vulcan's to had take some this crazy Nautilus games. That chip damage as Mass finally gets an you know, opportunity to step forward. We don't forward, care about the Senna at this point. Just the ban the Nautilus, right? Mustered up around this bottom lane now. It won't matter though. I don't think it's going to game three. That's a super deep TP from Castle. Good engage by Olay. Great ult by Berserker though. Our Mario's ult almost did nothing. It feels like. not in any shape to follow it up. So Castle just has to rethink that. He has to reassess his position. Super deep TP for nothing. Maybe it was just too deep. Nine is forcing their way into the Immortal Space. enough time to turn it down. And here, I don't know. The target That's crazy. Doesn't look like IMT is going to be able to stop it here. Yeah, Ole still has his Warmogs, but it didn't heal him up fast Ooh. enough. Now he's finally They're coming back to the base. Leave. Finally, yeah. going to try to stop these guys. But C9 already got what they came for. Yeah, at the very least, they were able to force out that Seekers, but it's a good buy from JoJo. He kind of knows he's one of the only people that are in a position to actually get taken down uh, that could be potentially vulnerable there. So has the Seekers, times it well, is able to immune most of that damage. The follow-up couldn't come through. Luckily for Ole, he did get out, did survive. Is Vulcan just going to TP back out on the map? So is Jojo playing with these extra Weapon. TPs. Has been paying dividends for Cloud9 in both Ow. games. And that's always a frustrating circumstance when you force out the Seekers. This is just beautifully played by Cloud9. He's got the full Zonia. Like, this so was a much closer nothing, game by Immortal, right? so I love to see it. But yeah. Almost the game. Cloud9 there. has so been. Force that out with the hope that you could actually kill him. Playing next well. Time. Well, he's got it going once again, and he has the flash now. Oh, so Jojo, Jojo completely so safe, bad. and Immortals have to try to find some other way to make something happen. But it really has to come off the back of like consecutive shot class. You've got to land a lot of hope to have any uh, chance. I don't of think they're gonna be able to stop yeah, right now. Wow, well, maybe just dead under their own turret. No, no, no. Okay, survives. All right, let's see what you guys gonna be able to do here. More damage, but 
Fortunately for Immortals and for uh, Armeos specifically, much. he can get away. This has been a very rough series from him so far. You talked about the down accuracy of the ultimate, but I just feel like he else. hasn't had the kind of presence and pressure that he needs castle. to have. Immortals great. want to really challenge oh, a team like C9. Oh, that was such a great Zonia's by most JoJo. Most people have C9 ranked very high in the power rankings. Most people have Immortals probably bottom two. So you know you're having to really fight above your weight class in this one. So everybody needs great to be Great poke by Mask. It is a small little victory. They force out the Zonia's The worst part is even if they kill JoJo, I don't think they win the fight. JoJo, so they got that out. That's something small, but yeah, you know it, what I mean? it is going to be really, really like tough. Vulcan and sure. Thanatos and Blabber, they're just Armeo, unkillable. It's tough. Like this matchup against Blabber, I know that they did beat them in spring, but I've always kind of felt like he plays Thursday a very Friday. similar playstyle. Yeah, interesting to Blabber, that the next one's Blabber on Thursday kind of and Friday. You know, they both mm -hmm. like to be farm heavy. So they I'll both be want to be really efficient well, with their ganks. But it'll they be Thursday night. Style, so but it's like both times Blabber is going for the farm, but he's finding those better gank angles. He's finding the better opportunities to impact the lanes. And that has been kind of the difference between them I would be so annoyed um, in this those. series so far. Right, the, the early plays that we were looking at with the mask ganks. I mean, we were we were making poking a little bit of fun at it, but it's kind of the truth of how this has gone, right? Like Blabber finding more yeah, efficacy at least in the way scale. that he, he involves Dominic's. himself with the lanes, involves himself building in the IE early game while still maintaining that incredibly high tempo with his team. Well, and that's the thing with jungle. Like, you know, yeah, we were joking yeah, about it, but the reality item. is... One second difference can be, you know, the difference in an entire series because you know you show up that one second earlier, all of a sudden you're the one making the proactive play, you're making the gank happen, you're getting the first blood. You show up that one second late, a couple seconds later, I don't think they're it gonna be, able to be get really, here. really yeah. tough to make anything happen. If you they would have though, that probably right? you know, would have been the game. You kill here, I think, I think they just finish um, it. It's tough, so. You have to be really Tactical on time. Tactical is like 80% uh, of your damage. The, jungle pathing, you know, make sure that your the other clear 20 is mass. As possible. Make sure you find those good angles. So Armeo. Oh, Armeo is dead. Armeo is dead. Unless he has flash. No, he had the control. flash. Oh, Throwing he's able to survive. Not quite on the mark. Armeo can walk out of the way of that one in time. But again, oh, great Q3 by Castle. Health. He does have the war. Great ult. Jojo in danger. Oh, but Jojo gets that anyway. Him and Castle both almost dead. Ooh, Castle is almost dead. So is Jojo. Otherwise, that would have been a very Dead castle. Jojo down to oh. 100 HP. As tactical Ooh. clears out the sun disc. Immortals is doing Cloud well. Nine. Immortals is like yes, they're keeping not gonna get it a whole close. Lot out of that push, but but I the think... dragon is live, and you can see the pings coming out. Yep. yep. Going to be moving over. This will put them to soul point. It is a bit of a slow dragon stacking game because both teams did take two. So yeah. Cloud Nine will still need one more to grab the Baron's soul. Up after in 30 seconds. Immortals, you know, hanging on just barely. Uh, we can see Tactical does have three items. So I think you guys going to reset right, and then uh. Maybe we'll find you here. Give one second. Tactical might have three items, but at least, Berserker uh, get is almost around. at three I items. Go but, well, I guess technically he's, he's at three because you have the support item, but he's got 142 souls. Yeah, that's the range yeah. is. All right, uh, they go. It took a while, but they got the drag for sure. Pretty balanced. Yeah, that's, Jace uh, goes for a shock blast. Oh, he just they're just stealing the yep, red just buff. Shoot him right back. <laughs> Little thieves. Nothing to it. Unthinkable. And it's it's lethality too. Tiss, so this tiss, guy tiss. is just doing so much damage. Whoever he hits, finally you can see Armeo does have a, a little bit of armor here, thanks to the fact that he picks up the locket. But his first All right, so tacticals, the and he has tacticals base rock, so there's not even crit. an aftershock there like we were he talking about earlier. He has four items on him. The war mogs. IMT pushed he doesn't really get a lot stronger. <laughs> C9 ready to respond like he, to him. He could get one Armeo's more item, but that, I mean, compared to how much I he helps his damage, he doesn't get much stronger than this. Although Vulcan can manage to oh, wait, they're just starting it. Angle. They don't want to deal with the supers in bot. This is a tough okay. spot, though. This is betting your game on it. Immortals yeah, this is super betting call. your game. Castle already down to half HP. Oh, oh wait, Castle got caught? No, 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 it's fine, fine, it's fine. fine. At least Tactical didn't get caught. Popping the cleanse, getting they're already so low because they were taking Baron. Wait, they're just so low. Oh, Vulcan not hitting that. Oh, he's dead. Jojo pulling the trigger. Thanatos is in on our Mayo. Tactical's going to go try and help. Oh, he's in on Jojo. Oh, he's dead. Anyway, tactical dead. Game's over. Oh, game's just so over. A little bit too aggressive from Tactical. Everybody on Immortal's side ain't going nowhere oh, except wow. the Look board, how baby. Low. Vulcan, JoJo. It's a five for nothing. A clean that is insane. That last fight was series. just well, Vulcan well played by C9. JoJo survives. Cloud9 are going to take it. Immortals a much cleaner, a much better all the game two through, for Immortals, but still not enough. JoJo going to go up so, to you know, 100 honestly, career wins now. Game one, it, it did look like Immortals was outclassed by C9. So it makes sense what, what I've heard a little summer. bit about, they are gonna smack you know, Immortals not being able to compete at the Ole highest back level. To life. However, this second game, it laser. was close. And at this point, that's the it doesn't look close at this exact moment, but there were lots of points where I thought Immortals had every possibility to win.
Nicely done by Cloud9. So I, I the second think it was game, a, a lot more competitive. They're definitely they taking by Cloud9, but it's it fun. In the mid game, yeah, all uh, right. Made a few mistakes. Immortal Thrive will capitalize on it. Today is going and to be. Backhill was able to get himself into a position where he had it. Let's see what's next. Ooh, I'm actually so excited for this. 100 Thieves and Dig.